Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to download and install I almost said Sody Revolt uh, First of all you need to choose where to install the game In my case I will install it on my desktop because it's a very easy access And I will call it folder games just in case I want to install other games inside the same folder If I want to collect all my games in one folder so to say uh, but you can choose wherever you want, just make sure you know where you have installed the game, because you're going to need to know that later. Uh, but first of all, we have revoltrace.net. This is where you download the game. First of all, you have to download the base game, that include the patch 12.07. Or, well, 12.07, I don't know. Just download that and install the game once it's done. There we go, and hit yes. Now you have to choose your either folder or if you want to install the game at the same location as... Yeah, select where you want to install the game. Uh, and in my case it's on the desktop, so I just select the games folder and hit OK and install the game. And uh, now you, you don't need to run the game or, and you don't need to read the readme folder if you don't want to. But that's the base game. I think if you're trying to run the game now you will have error messages because it's an old game. As you can see the game is from 1999. Uh, so you have to download the RVGL Windows 64-bit or 32-bit depending on what kind of operating system you have. Uh, and in my case I have the 64-bit. Just download that and uh, open that up, it's the same here, you have to select almost the same folder. You have to go to your selected folder or installation fo folder and in here you have a folder called revolt now. This is where all the game's files are stored. Select the revolt folder and hit ok and install. It's a very quick procedure so it's already done. Now you have the game fully functional, hopefully. Uh, I never had any problems in any cases. Uh, you can delete those two, only called Revolt and Revolt Track Editor. You only need the RVGL to start up the game, because if you start through the other one, uh, things might go south, I don't know. That's where all the problems start at least. But you run the game through the RVGL and you're pretty much done. For the second part of this tutorial, I will show you how to uh, install cars and uh, tracks to your game if you want some extra tracks or extra cars. First of all, you have these two folders here, levels and cars. Cars are very simple. Uh, you just go out, either you go to revoltzone.net to find your specific car if you want to find something. We just Let's go to new cars and uh, download the Top Gear Police. Just press the icon to download. And uh, here you have your car. You see, it's the same name on the folders. Do not replace this one with this one. Open this up and you will have the car inside. Uh, just drag the Top Gear Car Police thing over into the cars folder. And uh, everything is done. And now I can't find it anywhere, but it should be in here somewhere. And that's how to add cars. Very easy, very fast forward. Uh, cars, on the other hand, you need to uh, go to tracks. And uh, let's choose something that looks at least decent. This one seems. This looks very interesting. Same goes, just press the icon to download and uh, open it up with Winroar. Here you have two folders. You can see the GFX folder is in here too. Uh, but it's the same, it's the same way. You just open up the levels, drag roof over into levels in the game folders. And go back one step, same thing with the GFX folder. Just Take this uh, BMP file and drag it over to GFX folder inside the game folders. There's a lot of folders right now, but 
that's how to do it. Very easy. Uh, so now you should have extra tracks and uh, a few extra cars. Or one extra car. So now when you are in game, you should have all your downloaded cars and tracks uh, in your stash. The thing is, they won't be visible in the shelves or on the floor. Uh, they will most likely be shown as uh, ghosts. So you have to remember the names. But uh, in this case, it has a box, it has stats, uh, but there's a tag, uh, the, S, uh, the cheat tag, so as it's called. Uh, that's because I think it's a bit faster than any other car. And uh, yeah. Just select a car, and you should have your track here too. In, and uh, as mentioned, here you have it. And you should be good to go. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully there won't be any problem for you guys. And if you have problems, uh, just comment down below and I will help you as much as possible. But hopefully there won't be any problems. And uh, hope you enjoy the game and thank you for watching.